Hi, welcome to howtocookveggfood.com. I'm going to be making some um, beautiful tenderloin medallions here today with a uh, cream horseradish and mushroom sauce. And this is really simple, this dish. So I've got some beautiful pieces of fillet or eye fillet or tenderloin, depending on what part of the world you come from. I've got here some white onion chopped, fairly small. I've got some mushrooms there, cut and chopped again, about the same size. Some chopped garlic, some bay leaf, some salt and pepper. Here I've got some horseradish, there's about two table, uh, teaspoons there. And there I've got about 200 ml of a thick cream. You could use a, a single cream if you wanted. It all works out the same. A bit of um, parsley at the back. Let's go over to the cooker and start this. It'll be done in no time. Okay, let's start. So I've got a nice heavy bottomed pan here, which is good for steak. I've got a tiny amount of olive oil in there. What I've done is I've seasoned just with salt and pepper our tenderloin, and in they go. Yeah, literally it's such a salt and pepper on either side. We're simply gonna cook these for a maximum of two minutes aside, and then we're gonna remove them. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so that's a couple of minutes aside. Let's take them out. So they're gonna be nice and pink inside still. Now with the same pan, and that same oil, let's drop our onions in. Our bay leaf, garlic, and a touch more salt and pepper. Two minutes. We just want them to sort of cook just, just for a little while before we add our mushrooms. See you in a bit. Okay, let's take a look. There you go. And garlic starting to go brown, which is exactly where we want to be. Now we'll get our mushrooms in. I'm using just a regular white mushroom. We'll give these a little mix in there. Again, we're going to put the lid back on. And what will happen is a little bit of moisture will come out of these mushrooms. So keep an eye on it. I'll, I'll be back in like one and a half minutes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to lower the heat now. I've been on a fairly high heat. That's all coming together really nicely. Now I'm going to add in our cream. Like I say, you can use a single cream, exactly the same really. And I'm going to add in our horseradish. Now I've got a decent strength horseradish. I.e. we're going to get a little kick from it. I advise you to uh, also get the strongest one you can. There's a lot of them on the market. Creamed horseradish, they're kind of... Just, they've got no flavour to them, basically. So, as you can see, that sauce is coming along beautifully. It smells amazing. It'll have a nice kick from that horseradish. And our single cream will actually, it will balance it out. But you'll still have, the, you know, the, 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 the mild and, and the heat factor. Okay. Very simply, we're going to drop our tenderloins back in. I'm going to put a little bit of flat leaf parsley on the top. I'm popping the lid on. Don't forget this is on a very low heat now. Let's bring that together for two minutes. Keep your eye on it because obviously you're cooking cream here now. And this should be ready. I'll see you at the table. And there we have it. 
I've cut one open so you can see how pink it is. That's exactly how I want to eat my one. Of course, you cook it exactly how you want. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.